Republican state lawmakers are laying out Indiana's new legislative districts for the next 10 years. Fox 55's Drew Fry explains how Republicans say it will benefit all Hoosiers and why Democrats argue the process is too rushed and too political. Indiana Republicans are preparing for a final vote on the new once-in-a-decade statewide redistricting plan. Local Democrats aren't happy, but Allen County Republican Party Chair Steve Shine says he wants to laud the Republican legislators who worked on this plan. I think the process has been greatly refined. Uh, it is the best that I have seen in the probably three times that redistricting has occurred since I have been chairman. I'm standing at the border of Fort Wayne and New Haven. Representative Dave Heine currently represents this entire area with most of Eastern Allen County and a little inner pocket in Fort Wayne. This new plan would separate these two areas into different districts, which Republicans say will allow legislators to better represent their constituents. We used to have nine state representatives. Now there will be six under this proposed uh, plan. And I think that's good for Allen County. Uh, there will be an additional um, district and I think that's good for Allen County. The new plan limits the number of districts which reach into Allen County from other counties, from five to just one. Shine says this helps solve a common concern brought up by the public. Legislators listened to what the public wanted and certainly a more uh, districts that were more representative uh, of the area in which the voters and the residents resided uh, was a big concern. Derek Camp with Allen County Democrats doesn't think this is the case. He calls the Republican-led town halls a sham and questions if they were there to listen at all. They gave people less than 24 hours before the first public hearing to talk about the new House and congressional maps with the way the schedule is and when the Senate maps get drawn next week. They're indicating that there is no discussion. This was all decided previously behind closed doors by the Republicans. Shine says the sped up process is due to the federal government's delay in finalizing the most recent census numbers. But Camp also accuses Republicans of intentionally making districts more favorable for themselves. So the last 10 years were so gerrymandered and these new maps don't seem to be any better. Shine says the new map rectifies districts originally unbalanced by Democrats. In Fort Wayne, I'm Drew Fry, Fox 55 News. And Republican Heine says he plans to be in Indianapolis Monday to discuss the redistricting plan's approval, with the final vote coming shortly after. Shine says he has no doubt that that plan will pass.